Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Masters. In the last one, we started to try and lure Flannery into a little mist of uh, PML uh, fighters. However, she wasn't quite into it. She wanted to train and now she is the gym leader of the <laughs> quote unquote gym leader uh, of this area. So we can't get to her and convince her to battle us and then join our team until we have beaten all the folks that's on the way. But first of all, something I actually forgot to do last time was actually, due to all the grinding I've done throughout the uh, the episodes, or not episodes, uh, in betweenies. Oh, Rock has something for us. Okay, good. Because yeah. apparently the magnifying glass signified that they had something for us and not just wanted to talk to us. So that's a good that's a good little notion. That's good to know. I dug up something interesting yet today. What do you think? Awesome, right? <laughs> I thought it would give it to you if you wanted. Another manual. If I dig up anything else, I'll bring it over. <laughs> You'll be amazed by some of the things that get unearthed when you're excavating. Okay. But that was not actually with the thing I... I'm just gonna see if there's another microphone glass somewhere. Nope. 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 I could talk to all these people because they have like a We wanna talk to you! sign on their faces. Or above their heads, not their faces. <laughs> but the thing I'm actually gonna do is going into teams and learn and look at the move and skills that we have on our characters because their possibilities are really broad here as you can see we can teach a lot of characters new moves however i think i'll go with the team that we had in the last one so that would be brock rock and barry to see here the rock tomb oh that's actually a good rock hot determination i love the fourth one like what like what, was it was he witness the other one that was so hilarious I just have I just have to see that after this we learned a new move Rockthorn. tome yes was it witness uh, where's Whitney she's there yes yes it was I'm all kinds of strong <laughs> that's funny I see here no hesitation oh is it a personality type? you unlock then anything else hmm but as you can see we have plenty of those megaphones thingies in stock so we would just do that to the main group that we're gonna use in throughout this um because they're technically already completely leveled up oh that's what they need okay i see i see i see i see that's more grinding for you and rock that's right and hit smash you're gonna need a helmet. <laughs> what are these fourth ones? I'm intrigued. What are the passive skills? Oh, okay, headstrong. So there are other things that we can also unlock just by having the things needed. That's interesting. Okay, we will learn this. Because it gives us a little more to work with, I guess. And then... We'll go right back into battling, because we need to reach Flannery and prove our worth to her. Prove that we're stronger than her, so she would actually consider actually training with us. I think that's more in. Um, <laughs> so let's jump right into it. Here we go. And it's still the same, and it does really still seem like here that it is the rock type Pokemon that are better to have than the water type Pokemon but it was kind of wishy-washy in the last go around to see if it was water or not because the first trainer definitely had more water weak Pokemon than they had rock weak so I will just check this out with this one as well so let's see else we'll just put Misty on the team as well then there will be Barry, Misty and Brock right uh, oh it's a hiker so that's definitely water I'm chasing my dream and I'm fighting for victory. <laughs> They're always so determined. That's nice to know. Determined. Being determined is good. 
Oh, Ace Trainers, they can have a little bit of everything. Ace Trainers can have a bit of everything, really. So, water, water. Okay. Um, actually, we will. What does Rock Tomb actually do? It only attacks one. Okay. It could be cool to have more attacks that actually beats multiple characters, just like berries, because that would be a super efficient team, but that would probably be too easy in many ways. Um, let's take Rourke and then show off his skills. Um, Will-O-Wisp. <laughs> okay, that was a one go, so let's go bubble. Bubble away, bubble, bubble, bubble. Because that's definitely a fire Pokemon. There we go. Dances. Very easy, actually. I'm surprised. We defeated Hiker Jared. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because we don't we really level up or anything. I can't catch that dream. Oh man, did we just crush his dreams? I'm so sorry, Jared. It was Jared, right? I think it was Jared. I should pay attention to. Oh! Oh. Um. Scientists? Last time I saw your sprite, it looked kind of. wrong. Anywho, I'd like to. Just listen to the music for a second. I need this song. <laughs> I like this song. Okay, I need this song. Um. Science happens when the scientists are present. Wait, what? Science can also happen without a scientist. Namely, this place, which contains things I'm very much like to research. So do not come any closer. Look at him in the background. He's like dancing and showing off his moves. Either that or he's frustrated. One or two. <laughs> I'm doing the scientist dance. Doing, 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 doing. <laughs> I would like to immerse myself in my research now, so I will be so I will be eliminating you from my uh, vicinity. Prepare to battle. <laughs> okay. So what would the scientist have? Is it just a bunch of scientists? Yeah, it's a bunch of scientists. And definitely. Rock Pokemons, right? Yeah, Rock Pokemons, because that was definitely... No! Actually not! Barry, go! Just attack them. Because there was definitely more water-based Pokemons right there. Uh... Oh no! Unix is burned! That's bad! There we go, and then we just smack down. Dun dun -sies. Oh, that was actually the wrong Pokemon. Never do mind. Let's do this. So we don't have that too many people attacking us. And then another smackdown. Just do well. Because poor Onyx. He cannot stand the heat. Sadly. Didn't that also happen in the anime? At some point. Oh, that was not an Onyx. That was a Growler, I think. He... Ash basically set on fire because <laughs> he overheated the poor thing. Oh, that's a downer. <laughs> that's such a downer. <laughs> How dare you take research away from a scientist? He's still research? Dude. Oh, he's doing a new dance in the background. He's doing the pointy dance. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. <laughs> um. You can still do research, just let us pass. Like, I mean, really. Ugh. Oh, I said don't step there. You will ruin my place's research samples. I mean it. Don't come any near my vicinity. Your vicinity? Yes, indeed. Well, we already leveled all our characters up to the max that they can be leveled up. Just by coincidence, really. So, yeah. It's, um... Continue on this, this. Fiery to the core. Huh. I thought it was just gonna be throughout battles throughout the whole thing, but no, there is actually some story going on here. That's okay. Let's go see. 
What is all this about then? Oh, he's there. Ah, there you are. What's all the way you battle out there with your team? You're much stronger than I imagined. Wait, you're that old guy from earlier. You just really have to mention a person's age. Doesn't mean because he's white haired and bald, doesn't mean he's old. I never actually consider him that old, actually. Though I did call him a grandpa in the last one. <laughs> but that was because of his voice. I'm no better than Barry. <laughs> what you doing here? I realized I may not have explained the full situation. Hmm. What do you mean, the full situation? Ah. It's about Henry. She's a good trainer. Has a lot of passion and ambition. The problem with her is that she'd get reeled up very easily. Oh, so like Barry. Oh no, we have two reeled up people. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, Barry jumping to the wrong conclusion and her uh, Flannery getting reeled up too quickly. Oh no. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a good combination at all. <laughs> Now that you mention it, that girl earlier was getting oddly pumped up. You know that the battles on Pasio are all team battles. I want her to learn not to get ahead of herself and to depend on others. Oh, that's why I suggested that she battle your team. I see. In that case, leave it to us. Wait, what? She does. She doesn't want us to depend on other. He doesn't want her to depend on others. Therefore, she wants us to battle her. I oh, maybe she's too to bend on Blaine, and he kind of wants to just go off and have a chill day. But I don't know. It's kind of. I don't know. It has a weird context to it in some way, I don't know. Because if she joins our team, she would kind of be depending on us in some way. If, if you guys get my drift. <laughs> I appreciate it. I really owe you one. So maybe it is because she's too dependent on Blaine to learn the ways of her grandfather. I don't know. That's really weird. Flannery should be up ahead. I will be watching your battle from the shadows. How can you have any sh oh, well, there's a lot of magma here, probably a lot of shadows around, but don't get too near the magma. You're not a magma Pokemon, after all, so you might not be able to. Yeah. <clears throat> Despite what he says, Blaine must be worried about Flannery. He's such a good guy! Like, Brock is really just good, just a nice good guy. Yay. With, though he got no speeds every time he met a woman, as far as I remember, but that's fine. It just got over excited over nothing. That's probably a normal teenage thing, I guess. Not the nose plate, but getting. Never mind. <clears throat> Alright! Let's hurry up to the top! Oh, there's Flannery! Are we already at the end? Hey, there you are! Uh, I mean... You've done well to make it this far. <laughs> if you're here, that means you were able to win all your battles to get here. You must be pretty good. For my honor as a gym leader and as the granddaughter of the Elite Four member. Oh! So Blaine is her grandfather? I didn't know that, I have to check that. <laughs> And to bring honor to Blaine? No, it's probably not. Then who is she the granddaughter of? I'm curious now. I'll check that between episodes, I think. Who trained with me? And bring honor to Blaine, who trained with me. So Blaine is not her grandfather. Never mind. I will show you my hardest moves. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Hi! 
I love that! Okie dokie. Well, on that notion, I think I'll be ending off here. And until next time, guys, take care and have a fantastic day.